Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an SFTP server on Windows super easily using Bitvise SSH Server, a free and powerful tool for secure file transfers. No complicated setups, just a simple step-by-step -step guide. Let's dive in. Bitvise SSH Server is a lightweight and powerful Windows tool that lets you run an SFTP or SSH server easily. It's known for being super fast, secure, and really easy to set up, even if you're not a networking expert. And the best part, Bitvise is completely free for personal use, which makes it perfect for most home lab setups or small personal projects. You only need a license if you're using it commercially. So for most of us, the free version is more than enough. First, we need to download Bitvise SSH server. Like I said, it's free for personal use and it's one of the easiest ways to set up an SFTP server on Windows. Here, select Personal Edition or Standard if you want. It gives you a 30 days trial. You can purchase a license after that if you are satisfied. Personal Edition's limitations, for example, are it allows adding up to 10 Windows accounts only that is enough for a home lab. And connections are limited to 15 concurrent sessions. Now enter your name information and click OK and wait for the installation to complete. After the installation, the installer recommends restarting the server to ensure a fully operational Bitvise SSH server. Click OK. Uh, let me restart the computer. After installation, launch the Bitvise SSH server control panel. Check if the server is running from the dashboard name. Even after installing the Bitvise SSH server, no one can log in just yet. By default, the server only accepts connections from the local network and no user accounts are enabled. So before anyone can access it via SSH, we need to configure the firewall settings and set up user access. Let's start by adjusting the Bitvise SSH server firewall rule and adding users. Next, go to the Open Easy Settings option. Here's where the magic happens. In the Server Settings tab, set the Open Windows Firewall option to open ports to any computer, then click Next. This setting updates the Windows Firewall rule for Bitvise SSH server, allowing SSH connections from any external device not just from your local network. Let's add a user who'll access the SFTP server. Bitvise SSH server lets you use existing local or domain Windows accounts along with their assigned permissions. Choose Local Account, assuming that the Bitvise SSH server is a personal edition and on a non-domain controller machine. Also, select your preferred default terminal shell to I will let it at the default myself, which is the command line. You now have one account on the list that you just added the Windows user account you just added can now log in using a password and has full access 
to the server's file system via SSH. Let us now create a virtual account. This is not mandatory. Create them when you need them. Let's say you want to give a user limited access to your SSH server. For example, just to upload or download files to a specific folder. In that case, using a virtual account is the way to go. Unlike regular Windows accounts, whether local or domain, virtual accounts only exist inside the Bitvise SSH server settings. They're not actual Windows users, which makes them perfect for tightly controlled access. Make sure that the default path in the root directory exists, if not created. You'll now see that there is now a virtual account. Click Save Changes if you have not done so already. Now that the server setup is complete, I've switched over to a Windows 10 machine where I'll install the SSH client. There are plenty of SSH clients out there that can connect to your server, but if you want to unlock the full potential of the Bitvise SSH server, the Bitvise SSH client is your best option. It's specifically designed to work seamlessly with the server and the best part. It's completely free for both personal and organizational use. Once the Bitvise SSH client is installed, you can now connect to your SSH server. There are also other ways you can connect, for example, using RDP for remote desktop. Enter the SSH server address into the host box. The SSH server port number, the default, is 22. In the authentication section, Enter the username of the account you want to use for this example. Type the Windows account you previously configured on the SSH server. For now, set the initial method to password. Since your SSH account uses password authentication, then use Save Profile as to save your client configuration for easy access later. Let us try connecting to the server. Click on Log In and enter your username and password. Now that you're logged in, you'll notice the window title has updated to show the format. Username at SSH server colon port. To open a command line interface, just click New Terminal Console and a console window will launch. When you type, for example, hostname, it will show you the hostname of the server. This means you are connected. The Bitvise SSH client includes a user-friendly graphical interface for easy file transfers between your local machine and the SSH server. To get started, click the new SFTP window button on the left side of the Bitvise SSH client window. This opens a dedicated file transfer window where you'll see your local files on one side and the remote server files on the other. From here, you can easily drag and drop files between the two locations. If you want access from outside your local network, make sure to forward port 22 on your router and allow it through Windows Firewall. But be careful. For security, use strong passwords or key-based authentication. And that's it. You've got a secure, working Windows 
SFTP server using Bitwise SSH server. Let me now show you how to configure public key authentication to generate a key pair and set up SSH client authentication. Click the Client Key Manager link. This will open the Bitvise Client Key Management window where you can create and manage your SSH keys. You'll now see the newly generated key pair listed under Profile 1. Remember, a key pair consists of a private key, which stays on your client, and a public key, which needs to be on the SSH server. To upload the public key to the Bitvise SSH server, simply right-click the key and select Upload to Server. After the upload, a new entry will appear in the list. This time, under Server 1, indicating that the public key is now stored on the SSH server. Next, it's time to switch the authentication method from password to key-based login since your SSH user account now has a key pair. Set the initial method to public key. This tells the SSH client to use your key pair for authentication. Under client key, open the drop-down menu and select the key pair you generated earlier. And in this case, it's profile one. You're all set. You can now log in to the SSH server using your key instead of a password, and that's it. You've just set up an SFTP server on Windows in minutes using Bitvise. If this helped you, smash that like button, subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.